has no Lambo badge on it. Oh, it looks like a black eye. Nice hoodie, Dave. Thank you. You will soon shall see that come. It smells like something. It's been a minute. By the way, it's been a minute. It's been the fa daily. We were in Vietnam preparing the fa to Vietnam here. And I, uh, I hate to say it. Well, I'll, I'll back it up for a second. The hotel fa was incredible. In incredible? Incredible. Incredible? Sorry. Uh, but as far as like the street fa, this is the best. Yeah. But they're Vietnamese that own this place. So it's like, it's authentic. It's just toned down a little bit. In Vietnam, they take a chicken and just dice it. Like they cook a chicken and just dice it into like bones and all, and throw it in something. They don't separate the meats and all that. No. Oh. Thanks for the fun facts there. Hey. For Val. How many people? Uh, One, two, three, four, five of us. Five. Okay, okay, Mia, Mia, I know you got some healthy options, but it's your last meal in California. So, guys, a traditional California lunch. You too, buddy. I got uh, you guys. This is a cheat. Oh, this is a cheat meal. By the way, I love how, how you said traditional. Your last meal it made it sound like you're having like death row meal here. <laughs> uh, this is so laughs in fear. <laughs> Dave laughed. So <laughs> you said cheat meal. What the f if did you order? I like how someone honked outside when you said what the. F did you hear that? You heard a honk outside? Yeah, someone honked You need a cat scan. Might be your last meal. <laughs> oh, no. was, you can't hear anything anyway, else here. Really? Yes, it was like the J. Oh, maybe the food's here, actually. Oh, maybe it's actually here. I got, I ordered so much food. I actually didn't mean to order this much. Because I ordered it, and I was like, why is it so expensive? And I think I tripled the order accidentally. So, we'll see what we got. Hmm. Yeah, there's no honking, Mia. He's still three minutes away. Who is it now? Nobody. No. Yeah. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. We get it. We've all been there. <laughs> did you get canes? Or are you not telling me? I did not get canes. Oh. I got traditional California. Oh, I know. I did KFC. not. No, I did not get KFC. I'm not <laughs> effing In-N-Out Burgers. I don't hate you. In-N-Out Burgers is the worst burger in America. So Best burger is actually Trill Burger in Houston. You got it. Mexican. Chipotle. No, not Chipotle. What'd you get? This is called retention for the video. Nobody knows. They're gonna sit there and wait. <laughs> They're sitting there like, what did they get for lunch? It's, it's Shut up, mom, I'm busy! <laughs> Not now, I'm watching the TV video! <laughs> you said American food? I like yelling, it's my favorite thing to do. It gets, yeah, me, it gets me in the mood for action. He does like yelling. What kind of action? When he used to do the raid promo, oh my god. Yeah. On top of his lungs. In the oh, meantime, a uh, guy who's very organized, look at the guy did, he organized the radios. Oh, Guy's guy. very organized. Hey, what guy? I know he brought in some. By the way, it's actually it legit when you walk in here. Smells it's good. Better. I know he better it does. Stuff, it smell it's better. So much better. It's not really nasty. It's great. And when someone's role is just that, that's all they have to focus on. When we make the videos, it's the perfect situation. Because yeah. there's no way in hell a damn I'm gonna go. Hey, let's go to Target real quick and get an incense for our, sh our boardroom. Good old falling <laughs> leaves. A couple of things. Those are not incense. And number two. Well, what is it? It's a diffuser. It's a diffuser. Oh, okay. You just put oil in the bottle and the oil soaks in. In a sense, you light on fire. <laughs> I, could, I could burn that. Oh, that's <laughs> John, <laughs> where's the torch? So basically the oil is inside and it... Oh, like, like essential oils like sage? Sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so... All these relics we've gone over a few times, but we actually do have something coming. The updated gumball rings. Damon requested from Bobby White, that son of a bitch, the European ring, which we didn't get. Yeah. And then we also need the one from Southeast Asia. Yeah. And then we have I the two. I want to have all four. I think, I think having those as a keepsake is really cool. Yeah. That and the watch. I don't know how we get one. How much are the rings? They're not cheap. They're like, I think even for us, like, what are they? 5,000? 10,000? How much are they? Uh, I think we got a pair. You had to talk to Bobby White when he charges yeah. retail. We get a bit of a deal to do promo for him, but it's still in the, in the thousands. Yeah, that's a lot. They're cool. They're, They're cool. really cool. Yeah, yeah that's the Middle East one. I just realized both of you guys have his watches. Yeah. So he's got one per uh, team. Well, no, you could so purchase listen. one per team. Go for it. They only made 150. Mm -hmm. They're only offered one per team. Got it. If you didn't, if it, the two people on the team didn't buy that, then it goes to the alumni. The reason why Dave and I each have one is because ours are the 
prototype XP dash numbered model. Yeah. So ours is an XP dash five, XP dash three, and there's an XP dash one and a two, right? I think they made five prototypes. Mm -hmm. So I have the last prototype. There's a first prototype. I have the first one, the one that you let me borrow, the green one. P1. That wasn't this though. That was a different watch. That's a different watch. Uh, uh, no, this is yeah. This is only the gumball is, edition wow. with the got orange. It, got it. So long story short, you could have bought them. These belong actually to the factory. Oh. So these watches were lent to us on Gumball, and the owner, one of the owners slash general manager who op does all operations, he said, "Yeah, take it back with you guys. You guys can wear them and stuff like that." That's right. I believe the story has been told twice on the Stories Channel. Oh, sh <laughs> shade, Hi. shade. Well, I haven't heard the story. Okay, we do. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, how are you? I said, how are you? Good, thank you. Let me grab that. Thank you very much. Okay, you. Yeah, have a good day. Thank See you later. You. Oh, I you did. Forget, you... I said that first. You didn't oh say my that. Gosh. I did to him. So traditional California lemonade, which basically this is just sugar in here. And in here is um, salt and grease. <laughs> <laughs> the complete opposite of what's in my food. Well, it's chicken from a chicken. That just, well, this one's grown in a laboratory. Yours is grown in a field. Okay, so that's pretty good. What's the difference between this chicken and, and uh, David's chicken? Uh, a lot of chemicals. It's the same, right? Show, show me your chicken. Oh, boy. Let's see Dave's chicken versus my chicken. <laughs> I don't know it's a sheet meal. My cheat meal. Yeah. You go for what? For life. Yeah, you know about these, by the way. And cheat meals. Only twice. Did you order a bottle of the sauce? Yeah, just because I want to get it screwed up. There you go. Oh my god. I don't think there's enough hold sauce. On. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Little nice. Hey, let me freshen up your chicken. Do not put that in my. <laughs> I would lose my the shit if you put that. Go, <laughs> Mia. Since me. it's your birthday next, you get that. <laughs> it's not. Your birthday comes before my birthday. Yeah, mine doesn't count anymore. I'm old. You can't just have a meal. You have to have a celebration to eat Chick Fil A. Uh, well, down here this would be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But where we're from, this would be a treat. Weird. I'm from here. I've never had it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's true. That's Holy right. rips! No, no, no. Show no. your abs. <laughs> Show, no, no, I can feel them. Show the eyes. Don't be oh, shy. Take your shirt off. All right, Damon, the gifts aren't over. What well, surprise delivery for you, buddy? It's from Columbia. It's from Columbia. All right. How's your food, fatty? It's the first time I'm Chick Fil A. Bowl, really? No. <laughs> Oh, what is it? Uh, it's very well packaged. So, pinch the top. Asian yep. writing on there. Do a little lever. Uh, I got you, bro. I bought it. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get bought it for you. What is it? It is a special mount that goes on the back of your car, and you mount like the um, DJI yeah. Pocket 3 okay. on it, which has a gimbal on it. Oh. And I saw this where a videographer was using a mount like this for this mount, and basically... Basically, this, ironically, there's a photo of the camera. Yep. And they had it, and they got some really epic shots. And I was like, we always struggle 12 years unless we have a third shooter, which sounds really bad in the United States. Um, we never can get the shot of our car. Like, when Dave and I are driving... Can never get the outside, can never get rollers, can never get anything like that. Like, so I was like, well, this would be cool to be able to mount and get some sick rollers and or put on the back of like another car we're rolling with on Gumball. 
and it could like point backwards. And then you use your phone app to control oh, it. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, look at that. It absorbs all yeah, the bumps. Right. And then on top of that, it's got a gimbal on the pocket. So, so I wanted to try it. Got a coil over on it? Pretty much. Nice. Like, it's a mini suspension. Yeah. But it's just cool because little things like this sometimes they, they might not be perfect, but you can eventually dial them in for like fairly smooth road. Like maybe on a super bumpy road, it's not going to be great. Who knows? I don't know. But I got it all just to try. I was impressed by the guy's video. He would he didn't have a link to this or anything. I had to go find it. So I knew he wasn't selling it. So I was like, okay, well, he's not making it look good to try to sell these. He's just, um, he's just showing what his gear was. So I need to now go buy clearly this camera. I was waiting to get this stuff. Oh, we have one of those. We have an old one. Really old. Yeah. They have new ones that are like way better. That's one thing about the technology in electronics is it, it advances so quick. Things that were good end up being outdated so fast. What is it? What Something kind of camera does it need? Like a GoPro? Um, no, it's called a, it's called a pocket three. So it's like a little camera like that. Oh, I've seen it's not this big It's the box. It's bigger than this. It's about, it's about this big. It's yeah. not that big. It's about this big, mm -hmm. has a screen on it like that. Mm -hmm. And this has a three axis gimbal on it. Rotates. But and it's not. it rotates and everything. And that, so you can basically like run and it's not like. And you can control where it's on your phone, what it's shooting. Yeah, you can go on your you can go on your phone and like control the camera. Oh, that's cool. You can like move. I have one that's like four Wait, years old. I remember your little camera used to use. Um, the camera isn't in that box. No, this Talk is about business travel. Mount the camera to mm -hmm. a car. Yeah, mine's four years old though. The shape it probably doesn't work, but yeah, you have it on your phone and you can mount it on the side, so you can film and look at the screen at the same time. So, so that's cool. Yeah, because of it's for that. Part of being a world famous YouTuber is brand deals. Brand deals helps pay the bills. It's very expensive to do it without it. So we've got partners we work with, and we're right now researching. How to do promo for Raycon, the in-ear earbud, which is state-of-the-art, state-of-the-class, the best, and it has cool carrying cases. Now, there's a script from the brand, and Jason and me are going to execute this promo. So I'm going to let them do their thing. La, 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 la. And in a minute, they'll be prepped, and you guys see the promo on the main channel, you'll know how it went. Hey, how you doing? Good, I'll get the crew for you. Your chariot awaits back to Canada for a little bit of Thanksgiving. Now, in Canada, Thanksgiving's a month earlier. You guys have a hammer here, a big ham family. Yeah, huge ham family. Huge ham family. <laughs> and you'll be back in about a week. In the meantime, your car project is still in searching phase. In the works. I have a project I'm working on. I've been doing some recall. I'll tell you guys about that later. Just picture snow. <laughs> you out of here, buddy? I'm out of here. I'll see you. See you next week. Canvas to taste. <laughs> I was gonna say stateside, but <laughs> no. I'll see, I'm gonna be in Kelowna for a few days, five days. So yep. I'll see you in Kelowna. Okay, cool. Crush Adios. it with that promo you're doing with Jason. I got four promos to shoot today, so I'm gonna bang it out. Get them, get them broken in. It's the leave. I love to watch you walk away. Oh, we got the Lincoln Navigator. I get it. I get it. You need to step things up and get me that car, Jason. I feel like he's gonna get way ahead. I mean, yeah. Aware. Well, Jason's put a lot of effort into it, Mia, yeah, so you better start. <laughs> what did you say to your dad? You gotta be camera aware. <laughs> <laughs> Body was facing away from the lens. All right. See you guys. See you guys. You have a safe flight. I will. Bye. Thank Mia. Pleasure as always. Nice to see you. See so, ya. Yeah, be safe. Take Stay care safe. of your dad. Make sure he gets to his flight okay. Yeah, I'll try. Oh, man. 3523, buddy. That's the pin. Uh, you actually, you're in a time crunch because you have to go to the hotel and all the way back to LAX. All the way back to LAX. I only booked from LAX. We usually fly John Wayne. The challenge is there's one flight per day. So it's like 1.45. Basically burns the whole day. When I come home on Monday, I'm actually gonna leave really early so I get home at like one versus seven. Cause you can't really do anything in the morning anyways when you're leaving. But yeah. Just me, me and you guys pretty quick here. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. It's Saturday uh, and after Monday and they're gone and the boys don't work. So it's just me on Sunday. So I need to find some homies and see if we can go for a drive somewhere. I do hope put some miles on the um, Squadra Corsa and the Bentley. 
pictures of the Bentley in here. All these photos are from Gumball for the most part. We have more to print. But earlier I walked by this one, I don't want to stop and recognize the stress that I was under. I got engaged in Croatia and in, I'll show you right now actually, hold on, put that down. In this car, in the frunk, I have a bag. And you can't see it in this photo, but it's my duffel bag that had my engagement ring in it that I got from Happy Jewelers. And I remember I put the bag down next to the front of the car and I wrapped my foot around it because people started pulling my bag away. Not saying anybody was bad here. Maybe they're trying to help, but to be safe, I was not letting that bag leave my sight. So I had a engagement ring for my fiance right by my feet and protecting while trying to jumpstart the SVJ at the top of a mountain with all the stress. But these guys were awesome. They actually helped push the car all the way up the hill to get started again. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. I am all alone. Damon and Mia flew home yesterday. They are celebrating Thanksgiving a few days early. So in Canada, it's a month behind you guys in case you're confused by that. Uh, I fly home tomorrow and today we're planning a bit of a drive with the boys. We're gonna go up to Big Bear, I believe. I'm trying to get a crew together and I'll take the Squadra Corsa. Obviously the Bentley I enjoy, but for spirited driving is not uh, ideal, especially anything with a corner in it. Um, beyond that, I need to pack up my room. I have a really early flight tomorrow, and I imagine tonight might be late if we actually go out there. I think it's a two hour drive, and then who knows what will happen. So I'm gonna get things organized around here. Um, I just wanna say thank you to Avenue of the Arts. Now we don't always mention um, where we stay because we're just used to staying there. But if you're wondering where we stay in California, it is here, it is Avenue of the Arts in Costa Mesa. This is the room, don't mind the mess. Um, uh, we, get, uh, we get hooked up, the uh, owner of the property and the manager and all that, they're all DD fans. So since 2017, they've offered us a, a, a break on the rate to justify not getting a house or apartment. Because lots of people say, well, why don't you get a house? Why don't you get an apartment? It's just not worth it when we can stay here. And then when we're not here, we don't need it. We're not paying for it. For example, for the month of September, we were in Southeast Asia. So had we had a house or an apartment, we were paying for a lease or a mortgage on a property we don't need. So I can't find the key to the Bentley. And I had this funny feeling last night, I was so tired that I left the key in the car, which would probably be the dumbest thing I've ever done before. And if it's not in the car, I don't know where it is. I just tore apart the whole hotel room. And the Bentley key is not small, it's massive. It's like, it's huge, it's a big fob. Luckily I do have spare keys at the shop. I got spare, it came with three spare keys. I got one in Canada. I got one at the shop somewhere. So, yeah, anyways, let's hope it's in the car, which is dumb. This is cool, 360 Spider. Prices are starting to creep up, is it manual? It is not manual, it's the F1. Still, cool, you can convert it pretty inexpensively. I think these are sub 100, but there'll be a point where they won't be. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, let's find out the fate of the Bentley. Now, if the door's locked, which it will mean I lost the key. And I bet you that key is a mortgage payment. <sighs> All right, you ready for this? Fuck. Also, looks like his day is worse than mine. That's a dumb problem you created. It has to be at the hotel because I literally parked the car, went and I had dinner, with Evan and Ryan at the restaurant here in the lounge. And I was in bed by 10.30. I didn't go back to the car. I went from the lounge to my room. It's not in the room. I've torn the entire thing apart. So maybe I took it out and put it on the table at the lounge. I'd be really sad. Why would I do that? But let's call and ask. Good morning, Mr. Hey, how are you? Fantastic. What can I do for you? I was at the lounge last night, and then I, th I, I think I left my Bentley key on the table. Is there a Bentley key turned in? Do you know to your lost and found at the restaurant? Uh, the lost and found at the restaurant, we hold it for 30 minutes, and we drop on the lost and found for the hotel, sir. Okay, I'll call the front desk. Thank you. Check the front desk. Yeah, bye. It's an investigation now. Thank you for calling guest services. I'm currently with a guest. May I place you on a brief hold? No problem. Thank you. Welcome. I won't make you guys wait with me. 
Is this Evan? Yeah. It's Dave. How you doing, buddy? Good, you? Yeah. Well, I lost my Bentley key. Do you know, I was at the restaurant last night in the lounge side, and I'm wondering I left it on the table. Is there, you have a lost and found that told me that it'd be turned into you guys after 30 minutes. Do you recall seeing a Bentley key? Um, I'll check with them and see, and we can check our safe as well, and uh, I'll give you a call back. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Here's another issue. Uh, normally I would just say whatever, I'll deal with this later, but my camera is in the Bentley. So I need to film a vlog today, and I can't do that without my camera. Oh my god. It's funny, because like it's, it's the, the hardest key to lose, because it's so big. So I was wearing this hoodie, it's not in the front pocket. I wore these pants yesterday. And then I took the pants off and threw them on the ground, because I was tired, and slob. But there's no key on the ground. Oh my goodness. What an annoying problem to have right now. All right guys, well, let's go wait for Evan to call back and then, I don't know. I guess, this is dumb. Uber to the shop. I think I have a spare key for the Bentley at the shop. And then uh, come back at the camera. So this is basically going to add a few hours to my day that I was not counting for. Um, but yeah, now I'm kind of obsessed. You ever had that happen where like, you get hyper-focused on something because you know that problem shouldn't be there, but the problem's there. And even though logically I should just move on and find a plan B, I just... Did I hit the mini bar last night? Drop it in there? No, it's full. Hello? Hey, um, no, it doesn't look like any Bentley keys have been turned in. All right, I sat right here, right? My feet were like this. Ryan sat in his chair and brought it over. And, you know, it's pretty obvious if you left it here, so I'd say we're, I'd say we're screwed, guys. All right, we're gonna get an Uber and go to the shop and see if I have a spare key there. I know I have one in my backpack in Canada. We do have a spare vlog camera, it's Mark's, but I don't like the setup. It has like a wooden handle and a weird lens on it. And when you vlog for a living, the camera is an extension of yourself. So I need, everything's muscle memory. I don't look at the buttons. I don't look at the settings. I just know what works. So yeah, I need you guys to get some positive energy out there for me. Hopefully the spare keys there. There's three keys to the Bentley. One is missing. The second one, I know I have in a backpack in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. There's a third key somewhere, it might be at the shop. If it's there, we're in good shape. The real issue is there's a camera in there to make YouTube videos. Without the camera, I'm gonna miss an upload, which we don't do. So the you know, option is break the window with a hammer. I guess I could call a tow truck. I could have done that. Uh, buy a new camera. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna LOA the fact that there's a spare in there. Now, the Bentley can stay at the hotel. If I'm, I'm gone for a week. I can grab the squad drip back down here. That's not a big deal. Um, uh, can I go to like worst case Monday to Bentley to get a spare key? I leave Monday at 6 a.m. Uh, and that car to put a spare key would have to get towed to the dealer and they'd probably charge you $5,000. Maybe more, I don't even know. But I think worst case, I just thought about this now, is I get a tow truck to crack open the window or to pick the lock. A tow truck can do that. Can't like I, they come and like they, but not the Bentley. Not the Bentley? No, they will not mess with it. There is something they didn't want to take in the liability. They don't want the liability of just damaging a Bentley. Yeah, yeah fair. But uh, I think you don't have to tow your car to anywhere. You just have to prove them the car is yours and the dealer. I had a Dodge Caravan that I had to tow to the dealer. No, because I like this car. I went to the dealer. Yeah. I just showed them the registration I own it, and then uh, they already have the information. They ordered the key right away. How long did it take? Just expedited. It was a two days. Two days, yeah. Well, there's options. It's just I just need that. I just need what's inside the car today. No, no, I'm not. Two yeah. Days, yeah, two days. Uh, so we could take a hammer and break a window. Yeah. You want to help me do that? It'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
There it is. So it doesn't answer the questions, where's the original key? This is not cheap. I hear donuts. I see smoke. That's ah, Evan. What a beast! It's fighting him. It's fighting ya! Hold the bill for that! <laughs> it's fighting ya! I'll say it wasn't, I don't like it. What's that? It has a drift mode? Hilarious. Oh yeah, it's like stuck out of it. It's one of big box to come down a little bit so if you guys want something crazy gt63 four doors for more so the plot thickens i've been stressing about this key i have a spare here but it's an hour away but the key was found and it's not what you think you want to find out what happened he's he's here well 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 if it isn't the ryan <laughs> yeah Right. You had the Bentley key. I was going insane today. Well, it's here. Where was it? And this. Thank you for grabbing that for me. Uh, it was left behind at the restaurant. So you just grabbed it and didn't tell me? Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh man, and Ryan was also supposed to be up for a drive today. He goes, oh, by the way, I've got your key to the Bentley. And I was like. God damn it, Ryan. Hello? Yeah? I need your help. With? Um, I have a panel flapping on my car, and I need, uh, I'm at the shop here, and I want to see what you could help with. Uh, do you have, like, some duct tape here that I can maybe duct tape yes. it? Yes. Some thick, whatever that, yes. Gorilla Tape? Yes. Go to, you know where the water dispenser is? Yeah. Go over to those red tables, and there's, uh, like, a big roll of black, uh, like, Gorilla Tape on there somewhere on right, top. Perfect. So, this is Evan's window sticker for his AMG GT63. What year is it? 19. 19. And how much does somebody pay for this car new? 165 630 Oh, my God. And what's this car worth today? Like, 90 But MSRP is only 136, so it's like they put in like 30k in options. Yeah, yeah they optioned it out. What's the biggest package though? It looks like just the exterior. Yeah. Exterior carbon fiber. It's package. cool you have that. Yeah, the ex yeah the carbon package was four. The drift dynamic package was 26. Driver assistance two. There's not one huge option, it's a bunch of little stuff. Yeah, that's how they park you. Black. By the way, you guys, um, we are currently on the side of the highway. And you'll find out in the upcoming vlog why that is. We've been here for two hours. 
and we're waiting for a uh, tow truck. Because we love to sit on the side of the highway. Because we're trying to relive gumball right now. 